Hi guys, I'm Silwolf and I just got this new HP Sprocket mini printer uh, with my birthday money so I thought I'd do a video on it because I find the technology quite interesting and I thought I would share it with you guys as well. There's one shout out and that goes to Depressed Otaku Vic and Dango the Furby Connect. So, um, this little HP Sprocket uh, printer, I wanted one for a while and um, basically you can print photos off your smartphone using this tiny printer. They come out three inches by two inches and the paper that they're, they're printed on has like a sticky back so you can make stickers and things out of them. Um, the technology behind it, the printer is inkless and so I was quite interested how this would work because it's very small as you can see, tiny little thing and um, there's no ink. Uh, so it uses zero ink technology or zinc technology if you prefer and basically, and I'm, I'm reading from Wikipedia here, because it explains it better than I could faffing about. So the paper has several layers, a backing layer with optional pressure sensitive adhesive, heat sensitive layers with cyan, magenta and yellow dyes in colourless form and an overcoat. The colour dressing is achieved by controlling the heat pulse length and intensity. The colour forming layers contain colourless crystals of amorphochromic dyes. These dyes form microcrystals of their colourless tautomers, which convert to the coloured form by melting and retain colour from after resolidification. Re the yellow layer is the topmost one, sensitive to short heat pulses of high temperature. The magenta layer is the middle, sensitive to longer pulses of moderate temperature. The cyan layer is at the bottom, sensitive to long pulses of lower temperature. The layers are separated by thin interlayers, acting as heat insulation, moderating the heat throughout. So the paper is zinc and the people who make zinc have given permission for certain companies to use their paper for these little printers. Now the HP Sprocket seems to have quite good reviews on Amazon. Um, I originally became aware of these printers because there's loads of uh, Chinese knockoffs being advertised on Instagram and last year this was sometime. So I have the generation 2 HP Sprocket um, printer. They did release a newer version, uh, I think it's called the Sprocket Select, in 2019. But um, this one has got really, really good ratings, so there you go. So anyway, it arrived yesterday, I wasn't here, so I'm here today and I can actually open it and show you. So the whole thing works through the Sprocket app. As you can see there, I have downloaded the app onto my phone. You send your photo to the app, the app uses Bluetooth to send it to the printer and print the picture out. So, um print photos in seconds from virtually anywhere. Connect your friends and family to print and view shared photos. And the Sprocket app add uh, AR experiences, filters, stickers and more. Um, I just thought it'd be neat for, for, for like craft projects and stuff. And it's made for iPhone, iPad and iPod and also Android. And you can download it from both the app stores. So it's got this little strip here. Um, right, so all one thing slides off so the packaging is quite neat and no nonsense um, you probably find these hanging on bays in your local PC shops and it says sprocket I got the lilac coloured one because it's my favourite colour and there it is um, it comes with 10 sheets of the paper so this is the little printer itself it's very small very portable um, you can buy bags and things to put it in, like cases and that. Um, it charges with a USB port as well. And they say that when you're printing, obviously it's not for like massive print jobs. It's not for printing out hundreds of things at a time. Um, but it does say to allow it a couple of minutes to cool down before printing uh, your next picture. It's got the micro USB uh, adapter there for charging it. Uh, getting started booklet in a million different languages because of course they are this is the paper that comes with it there's your zinc technology paper there's 10 sheets um, they sell this in packets of I think it's 20, 50 or 100 um, the 50 sheets which is what I'll be buying when I have the money it's like £36 but I'm not going to be using it masses so it's literally if I want to print something out or if I've got a photo I really like or even a drawing that I've done that I have on my phone, you know, digital art, just printing it out and uh, putting it somewhere. And then you've got this here, which is 
product regulatory information. So it's not particularly interesting. It probably has information on the battery and stuff as well. Federal Communication Commission Interference Statement. That sounds complicated. I think it's probably something to do with he doesn't use it for commercial purposes, blah de blah, home use only and all that. Um, so you're getting started guide. It's this little booklet in I think it's about seven different languages. Install the app, which I've done. It will help you load paper, connect and print, follow the instructions on the app. So that is all this instruction booklet tells you to just use the app to uh, load the paper and everything. So let's open up the little printer here. I think I can probably just pull this bit here. Um, sides. And I should perhaps be able to peel it to, uh, not peel, I am peeling, to just slide it out of this. Or not, maybe I should open it the other end as well. I'm um, not sure if it's going to be charged. So, there we go. They don't make it easy, you know. Just open this there. So there's the printer. Um, it looks fairly unassuming. It's got a nice kind of paint splattered uh, pattern on the top. This is slightly rubberized so that you know it has grip when it's on a table. Like I said, you've got your charging port there. I'm guessing that's the power button, and you've got a little light. And as for loading the paper, um, well, I'll have a look at the app. I do have the app. And that's your light to show it's on. That's where the paper comes out. So let's see if it will light up. Ah, there you go. We have power. So bringing up the, uh, the app on my phone here. Right, it's asking me to create an account, so I'll do that later. So set up my printer. Print photos and memories. It makes preserving memories easy. Connect with Sprocket. So let's see, get started. Uh, no, I can't be bothered with that. No, data collection. Actually, no, I will go collect and share your app uses and technical data with... with... Uh, HP. There we go. Allow access to all photos. I'm setting up the Bluetooth. Select your sprocket. You got Select Studio 200 Plus 2 in 1 or just sprocket. Now, this is a sprocket 200 as it says there. Charge, power on. As that telling you, tells you how to charge it. You can see the light is red, so I'm guessing it's battery's low. It tells you here to uh, how to load paper, so you lift the lid and load the blue bar barcode down on the photo paper with the HP logos facing down and then you connect your mobile device to the printer so the blue barcode is facing downwards so it's searching for the printer now it's found it just connect it up OK select accessory I'm guessing this is the accessory here I am selecting it. Uh, name your printer and select your status LED colour. So I'll choose purple because it's my favourite colour. And I shall name my printer. What should I name my printer, guys? Uh, how about Kevin? Kevin the printer. I don't know. I'm sure I can rename it again later on, but Kevin. Kevin, setup is complete. My devices are paired, so continue to the gallery. So let's have a look at my pictures here. Let's try. You can do it Instagram, Facebook, Google, or just the photos on your phone. So if I choose, 
I know. I've got a really nice picture that I did some time ago. So I will select this picture. So there's the picture. It's my characters. They're on holiday. And see, it says there, your battery is low. So I might have to do this in another video. It's still red. So this is the picture I'm going to print. You see that Kevin is online. And I'm going to have to continue this. It's getting kind of long already. Continue this in a part two video because it just keeps telling me the battery's low. So, so far, so good. I will charge up the uh, battery and return in a video number two on Thursday. And um, I will add the video at the end of this video once both of them are up. So you can go back and look. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So stay tuned if you want to see more technological videos. I do have general robot videos um, and other stuff in the boxes below. As always, feel free to check out my Etsy and New Monday stores if you want a custom Furby plush or any other plush needs. Uh, or buy me a coffee on Kofi, it all helps. And um, stay safe, stay healthy and keep being awesome. This is Silver Wolf signing off. Until part two.